We're going to be enjoying some nice weather. Yes, yeah. yes, really nice. We were really cold this morning, but we're beautiful this afternoon. And this is going to continue for a few days before it becomes abruptly to an end on Super Bowl Sunday. Something easy to remember there. So here's what to expect for the rest of the week into the weekend. Dry weather through Saturday. And we're talking brilliant sunshine today, tomorrow, and Friday. And still mostly sunny to partly cloudy as we look on Saturday uh, for what to expect. Now, warming temperatures with 50s today. And then we've got 60. 60s on, uh, then we've got 60s coming our way on the next couple of days into Saturday when it's going to be in the upper 60s. We're going to be colder as we head toward the Sunday. It's a little bit of rain and it might end as a few snow flurries. So sunny skies and 57 degrees right now. West to southwest winds at 8, and we're looking for a visibility to be good. West to southwest winds at 8 miles per hour. And as you look at the satellite, skies are clear. And so the rays of sunshine for today, we're going to give you a. And. Put a smile on your face, right? We got sunny skies. We're going to get up to about 58 degrees this afternoon. We will drop into the 40s. Winds aren't going to be a factor. We're going to have clear skies this evening. The sun goes down at 551. So on the future cast, this high's backing off a little bit. It was right over us today. All the cold air settled right to the ground. It was a frosty, frozen start in the 20s. Well, we're going to get a little southwest flow that will get us in those upper 50s today. And then tonight, we'll get into the mid-30s. I think most areas will stay above freezing. We'll still probably get some freezing temperatures. You know how that goes around the Virginia border and western sand hills. But all in all, it will not be as cold tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. on Thursday as it was this morning at 7 a.m. when it was like 29 degrees. A little westerly flow tomorrow, and we're going to be right back up there, and this time go into the lower 60s, and then we're going to see those 60s again on Friday uh, with sunny skies. So I told you, today, tomorrow, and Friday, all sunny. Very, very very quiet weather. A couple partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies uh, out ahead of this front on Saturday, and we're going to be the warmest day on Saturday in the mid to upper 60s. And then this cold front's going to come through, and that's going to change things. It's going to make things chillier and maybe give us a little of that chance of rain on Sunday that I talked about. So 58 degrees today and sunny, 61 tomorrow, 64 on Friday, overnight lows in the mid 30s. And then we've got uh, Saturday becoming partly cloudy, 67. Degrees, so that's your warmest day. 40 degrees heading into Sunday, and then a bit of rain. I'm not too impressed. This is not going to be like Monday when it was in the 30s and we had a half inch to three quarters of an inch of rain. This is a little less coverage area and more light. So we'll see some rain though. This possibly have a little bit of rain, and that could end as a few snow flurries because you see the low dropping to 28 by Monday morning. But for Valentine's Day, things are going to be beautiful, mostly sunny, and good snuggling weather is what I like to say. Uh, 48 degrees with your Valentine. 50 degrees on Tuesday, so a little chilly uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then we bounce back up to about where we are today on Wednesday, and today is Wednesday, so hey, this Wednesday and next Wednesday the same. 66 on Thursday, and then Friday, a pretty good chance of showers as we cool back down.